Hello friends, welcome to Programming Knowledge. In our previous video, we talked about how to create table in MySQL. In this video, we will see how to insert data into those tables. So, uh, if you remember, we have created a database called Data Test in which we have created one table called Student. So now let's insert some records in this table. So to insert record in the table, you just need to click, uh, you just need to right click on the table and you can see send to SQL editor and here you can see insert statement, just click on that. So here you can see the query that we gonna run to insert the data into our table. The query is insert into then the database that you are currently in dot the table that you are using and here is the column that we have defined in our student table role number name surname and then comes values and in this space we can provide the values so just erase this now we want to insert a uh, one record okay so first thing is roll number let's insert 10 then separate each value by comma name and then surname now execute this now we want to see whether this record is inserted into our table or not for that just go to your table and you can see this icon just click on that uh, this is the query that runs on the background select star from data test dot student we talk about this select query in our next video so just leave that for right now and here you can see the record that we have inserted in our table is successfully inserted roll number name and sub now there are some variation of insert query just see that now consider a scenario where you don't need to insert uh, the data for all the columns uh, instead of that you want to insert data for a specific column then uh, if I want to insert only roll number and name and I don't want surname so you can just delete this surname from here and we insert another record say two and now this says that we want to insert only roll number in name just execute it and let us see here roll number name and we didn't specify the surname so it will uh, define null here now let's say consider a case where we don't need to insert roll number okay and see what happens we only uh, want to insert the name okay let's say Mike here it gives an error if you remember in our last video when we created the student table we specified roll number as our primary key and at that time I told you that primary key cannot be null if primary key is null then we cannot distinguish between the records which have the same value so primary key must be there 
if we define one column as a primary key so and there is uh, also one case if we want to insert the record for all the columns that are present in the table then you don't need to specify the columns name you just specify the values let's say 14 Alex Rosso Okay Execute it Here you can see Now if you want to insert multiple records at the same time then also you can do this you just need to separate each data set by a comma like 15 Lily Stark this is our one data set then insert the second data list here you can see we insert the two data set and just execute it and see the result here you can see two records are inserted so this is how you can insert into table a single record and multiple records and in our next video we will see how to retrieve the data from this table via select query Thanks for watching it.